really dig in. I've had to really dig in and break free of them. It's sane, slow connection. Let me just check this, make sure I'm on my Wi-Fi. I am. So here's the deal. All the time, I see comments, shares, responses. I hear it on phone calls. I'm hearing these things where I hear that and I'm thinking that is only going to keep you more stuck when it comes to money. And some of these things you may be doing unconsciously, right? You may be saying these things, you may be doing these things, and you don't realize you're doing them. This is not going to be a long lesson, but it's important to, to just point this out. If you are someone in, who is in business, if you're someone who wants to be in business, I'm gonna share these things. Because the sad thing is, is that some people will never break free of this. They will never break free because they're not willing to do the work and really get clear and honest key about how you feel about money and how you feel about other people's money and how triggered you are and things like that. Just, I feel like there's a money challenge that's going to be coming up probably when I get back from my trips and um, a money course. I finally need to birth. You guys know I've been doing one, um, but this year I feel like it's going to be totally do, new and different. So one thing I wanted to share, this is something that you may do. My dog sitter, I'm looking for a dog sitter and she I could tell, I could feel it. I could see it in her responses. I could tell in what she responded with when she did respond. She's totally uncomfortable charging money. She's totally uncomfortable charging money. And she could have got a lot more money from me, but she, I could just tell. Now I'm not putting her down. I just wanna point this out because this may be something that you're doing in your life. If you're on here for those lessons, say hello so that I know you're here. Look, we all have limitations. We all have barriers we can't see. That's okay. We're human. We're forever a work in progress, right? So we give ourselves that permission to be that. We don't want to judge ourselves. We don't want to be harsh with ourselves. And one of the key things that I found that has been missing in all of the money books that I've read, and you guys know that I've been working on this, this for a long time. You can't just go from living on welfare is a very high level of victimhood. It means that you are in a space of being a victim. Chanel, can you get Pablo? I'm teaching on Facebook. You know, I gotta ask for support. Um, being on welfare is a high level of victim, a very low level of victim, let's say, and that's where I was. So I want you to understand that I'm not judging you where you are, but I'm here as a mirror to help you take yourself out of wherever that is so that you can be in a much higher space. Now, if I make $35,000 in a month, I'm like, okay, I actually would like to make more. I need to make more, right? And it's not because I'm greedy or not grateful. It's just that there's so many ways that I can use my money and enjoy it. So I, I'm inviting you to hear this with an open heart. So when I was asking the dog sitter how much she charges and can she do this for me, there were very long pauses in it. And she was just like, do you mind if I give you the amount tomorrow? So she had to sit with it. I was like, that's fine. She wrote me back the next day and she says, I'm charging this much. I actually... I actually am going to have to um, give you this discount. Do you mind? Like, is that okay? Like, it was just like very, like it was uncomfortable. And I want you to know that people are paying for services. People are paying for what they need from you. Now, that's just something that came up in my last 24 hours. Now, the other thing that just happened in the last 24 hours is this woman on Instagram who I ended up having to block her just because I don't have time for someone else's crap. Like, this is my space and I need to protect it. Now, this woman reached out to me yesterday and she said, how much is your course? She was asking about the Miracle Academy. Now, typically when someone asks that, what it tells me right away is this person is already in a space that's kind of funky with money. Here's why. Someone that is in a good place with money, energetically, they're in a space that they know that if there's something that they desire, they will figure it out, they will create it. There is a tipping point that that happens in your life. It does not mean that there's an abundance of money in your bank account. It does not mean that you have a, a shitload of credit cards because I don't have that. I have, I've been, I pay for everything with cash, right? So what I do though, is there becomes this tipping point where you decide that whatever I desire and whatever is for me, I will figure this out. If I have to sell something, if I have to create something, if I have to ask someone, if I have to get a loan, whatever that looks like in your reality, you are aligned with the fact that you are infinitely resourced. 
You are infinitely resourced. Now, that is a tipping point that happens in your exploration of wealth consciousness, right? Now, when you hear somebody say something to you and they give you a dollar amount, notice what the response is. This woman, she asked me how much is my course and because I already knew that it was probably not for her and I didn't wanna hop on a call with her because I could tell because she just came blurting out how much is your course, that's not my ideal client. I told her how much it was, $12,000. And then she says, well, no wonder you're living so well. And I said, well, that's an interesting response, right? Like, what does that really mean? I could be living a lot better. I love how I'm living, but I could be living a lot better, right? And I told her, well, that's an interesting response. It's actually underpriced. Take care, right? Now, here's the thought process of this. And then today she came back and she got a little bit upset and she goes, well, I would never pay you that much money. I didn't ask you to. You're not the right fit. My ideal client loves paying me. They're excited to pay me. They have the means. They have money in savings. They have high paying, you know, income, maybe that, or their business brings in money. They have credit cards. They will do what they need to do just like I have in the past. They're just like me. When someone tells you something or if you see something on a menu or if you look up a vacation, whatever it is that you're looking for, and it's a desire for you and it's a yes, I want you to notice that that little, that there's a, there's a point, there's a pause, there's a moment, and it tells you so much about your subconscious beliefs. It's the response that you have whenever you find out that price, whenever you find out what that is. I used to be like this, where I would find something else out and I would just shut down, right? And then I got to the point of, no, let me figure this out. And here's why I've done this. I have figured out that on this journey, that when something's really for you, you'll be shocked by the way it comes to you. It doesn't always come in the form of money. Sometimes it comes in the form of, okay, I have the money or I'm gonna sell something and a client's gonna pay me. Sometimes it comes in someone else being like, you know what? I got you. Let me pay it for you. You know what? I got you. Here's a partial scholarship. You know what? I got you. Let me give you a payment plan. I went, I always share this story about how I went on a retreat that was totally beyond my, my own budget. This retreat was like, holy shit, Nicole Sylvester at that stage in her life had no business being there in all sense of logic, right? Like I had no, it didn't make sense. It didn't make sense. When I found out the amount, I thought, well, if there's an, a miracle that happens, I could maybe get there. But, you know, if I look back at that time and space, I wasn't creating income that fast and quick. Hi, Rachel. Um, and what happened, though, here's what happened. This is a really high-level healer, like somebody that works on very, like their whole client list is like celebrities and people that have the money to, to pay no problem. This guy really offered like to help me out. He said, I'm going to let you break this down into payments. How, what does that look like for you? He gave me such a freaking blessing and it taught me a lot about the way that I show up in my business. But what it also taught me is always just reach out. Always reach out to a spirit and ask, how can I afford this? How could this work out? If this is something that will change your life and something that you know will serve you and ultimately whatever serves you serves the whole not a serving you in the sense of like I need a Ferrari because I feel like I'm not enough if I don't have a Ferrari there's a distinction now I'm down for you to say yes to all of your desires but you got to know why you have the desires the juiciest desires are backed by your energy and they're they're more than just an ego desire like you're really connected to how that's going to feel you're really connected to why you want that and what you want to notice is, because I, I just feel for the people that do this, but I, I'm not going to coach them for free like, like in my inbox because I have better things to do. I really do. And if you really want to have coaching and if you really want to do the work, then you invest in getting coaching or you buy a program. I have things at different price points, right? And as I said, I'm going to do a money challenge when I get back from India and Bali. But here's the deal. When someone says that to me, it's like I almost, I feel them put up a wall. That's not for me. And I want you to start noticing where you're doing that. People do that at restaurants, right? Like how many of you have been to a restaurant and you didn't allow yourself to order the thing that you really wanted because you felt like it was too extravagant or too expensive? Don't use that word anymore. Don't, don't say that things are too expensive anymore. I have a rule like I started it probably three years ago. 
where I just, I don't hang out with people that say that. <laughs> like, it's not even a rule. It's just like, we're all in agreement. We don't do that. It, it, expensive is relative and you don't want to say that because if you want to create a new reality with your money, energetically, you need to shift into a new paradigm. And in order to, for you to shift into a new paradigm, that means you got to look at your bank account like it's a joke. It's a joke. I, I can remember, I remember this so clearly. I remember sitting on my sofa in my old apartment when I just was like barely getting by, like literally. And I was just like, I am ready to live a new life. I'm ready to be a six figure coach. I mean, at that time, time I didn't need to be a, a multiple six figure, like making six figures. I felt like was like, I'm good, you know, but I remember sitting on my sofa and opening up my Wells Fargo and it being like negative a hundred and something dollars. And I could feel it in my stomach and I'm just like, I don't know where the money's coming from. I don't know what's happening, but all I know is I can't take any of this too seriously because it's not, it's, it's temporary. And what did I do? I just kept believing that if I keep doing the work on my wealth consciousness, if I keep doing the work on my beliefs, this is going to change. And let me tell you, I was so obsessed and so committed to the work, it changed. Now, I still am now looking at new ways to unlock this, right? Because I want to be at a point where now, if I don't make $20,000 in a month, I feel like it's really tight um, because of the things that I invest in, all the things that I do in my life. But I want to be to a point where I'm making 80, 106, right? Like one to $2 million a year where I'm like, that. I that's my norm, right? So in order to do that, and I trust in the process. I just started my business four years ago and I've been on a journey and we all have to look at what our process is. But for me, I want to create really cool things. I don't want to only focus on the money, but I also want to keep making more and more money because it allows me to live a life that feels really good. And it allows me to keep growing and expanding. Like I get to go to this business retreat that I'm going to in India. I get to go then to my Bali retreat. I get to fly my daughter to Philadelphia. I get to pay for the dog sitter. I got to do all the things, right? <laughs> and I get to unplug from work. I want you to start looking at the things you're saying no because you're telling yourself not yet. You're telling yourself I can't. I want you to know that you deserve to make as much freaking money that is aligned for you. And hi Rosa. Rosa says I love this so much. During your video with Annabelle you spoke about abundance. I brought it into my awareness. Ah, it's not letting me open it anymore. I have to see it after the video. Speaking of my friend Annabelle, she always says something that I love and I feel like I love it because Annabelle and I have gotten to grow our wealth consciousness and business and spiritual expansion, all these things together in a sisterhood. And she always says, I just know the universe is going to pay for me to be the woman that I choose to be. And I'm like, a uh, fucking yes, like this, yes, right? We get to decide our standards. What's your standard of living, right? Like recently I decided I wanna upgrade. I wanna move to Newport Beach. It feels good for me. It's, a, it's something different. And we get to decide what kind of upgrades we wanna give ourselves all the time. If we wanna raise our rates, if we wanna work with different clients, if we wanna show up in, in new ways of being, we have to drop ourselves into that. Now, the thing that tricks people up with money is it's so deeply rooted in survival that there's so much resistance and clinging to it. The other thing is it takes so much um, energy to believe in something that you don't see right now, right? So think about this for all of you that are like, well, my bank account doesn't show I'm rich. My bank account doesn't show that I'm making X amount of money. By the way, for those of you that have, are, are making under $10,000 a month, I don't care if you have a job or a business, go and get my $10,000 a month meditation and start doing it every single day. Do it for 30 days every single day. You're going to change the way you feel about money. You're going to change the way you view other people's money. Other people's money is your money waiting to find you, right? So be open to that. And my money is other people's money waiting for them to offer me something I love. I'm happy to spend it. I'm happy to circulate it, right? So we get to change the way that we feel about it and, and open up into a new way of being peaceful with money. And one of the things that I want to leave you all with is that I want you to practice saying, I love money. And if you say, I love money, and there's a, a physical kickback, your subconscious is not there yet, right? You got some work to do. You've got some work to do. I remember I would be like, I love money. No, I don't. That sounds greedy. That's not spiritual. That sounds 
Ew, I, I don't know. That doesn't sound good. How many of you have felt that? How many of you have felt that when you say, I love money or I love making money, I want to make more money, and you judge yourself for it, right? Any of you or is that just me? Because I have a feeling with all of my spiritually aligned boss babes and people that are on this call, I know some of you have felt that. So you want to notice when you say it, how does that make you feel? Do you feel greedy? Arissa says yes. Do you feel greedy? Do you feel like you don't even know what you feel, but your body just gave you a like red flag feeling, right? Like your subconscious is not ready for you to be in a total receiving mode for the things that you want to receive. So I want you just to play with that. Take that into your awareness. I know Rosa said she took the conversation I had with Annabelle and took that into her awareness. And I have to read the comment when I get off of here. And I want to inspire you to raise your standard for receiving this year. You can ask for a raise. You can give yourself a raise if you're a ball, if you have a business. If you have a business and you don't know how to make more money or you feel kind of capped out or you feel like there's some worthiness stuff around your money, hire a mentor. I don't care what you have to do to get it. Like that's on you. That's what you get to decide, what feels aligned for you. But getting a mentor, this stuff is priceless because you need someone from a new paradigm, a different paradigm than you're in to kind of just come as an alchemist and drop some new realities, some new truth, some new ways of seeing into your reality. Because you'll notice when you look around at your closest friends, the people that you spend time with, your family, chances are you all are in similar in similar income levels, right? You're doing similar stuff. You're asking for similar things. No one's like way up here or way down here because energetically you wouldn't be a match, right? There's, there's times where that happens because someone is like, you know what, I feel like I'm gonna be generous, I'm gonna help this person, I'm gonna, you know, but energetically, these are all energetics. So I want you to look at that and notice that you doing it on your own is making you work so much harder because you are battling, again, with what you see with your physical eyes, your reality, looking at your body, looking at your bank account, looking at your, your tribe, looking at your house, looking at everything, and you see one reality and to create a totally different reality on your own, it takes so much diligence and persistence and discipline. And it takes, it's a big energetic load. It really is. I'm not going to tell you it's not. Wallace Waddles in the book, Science of Getting Rich, says it's one of the most energetically taxing things is to focus on a reality that's not yet here. But you know that you can create it. The wisest people know that they can create it. So whenever I feel like I've fallen out of alignment, or I realize that I'm kind of staying at a same similar level and I have feel like something's out of reach, I have, to, I have to check myself. I check myself because I realize that this is out of reach because I've made it out of reach. Either I'm not willing to look at what's really holding me back. I'm not willing to do what it takes to get to where I want to go. Um, I'm not willing to go all in on this experience. And these are conversations that only you can have with you. Now, a mentor can help you really it's a mirror and it will say, do you know what you just said? Like I just, like I just pointed out in the beginning of this conversation, you're saying that you want to make more money, but the way you're hiding, holding on to your money is as if there's no more money ever coming to you. Right? I've had this conversations with some of the women that signed up for uh, miracle Academy. They have the money it's in an account, but the way that they're viewing their money was as if that's the last money that's ever going to come into that account. And if you have that kind of underlying belief, guess what? Money's going to be tight for you. It's going to be so tight. Now, when money stuff happens and then you're like, holy crap, like this, this is a, this is like kind of a funky thing. Like I just got charged $2,000. So let's say, let's say that you have a car problem that comes up, right? Let's say a car problem comes up and it's $1,500, right? Today we got locked out of my apartment. I had some tire troubles. All these things came up and they're just like hundreds of dollars just stacking. And I was like, oh interesting this is happening okay that's annoying because I want to go shopping today and I have a shopping budget for my trip now because this happened I had to shift into not that I'm losing money but I had to shift into okay how can I create this money where's this money going to create from and it's funny because one of my clients ended up paying me on Facebook for a payment that's not due um for Oh, actually, I think it was due tomorrow, but I was like, this is early. I just forgot the payment was due. <laughs> so next thing you know, $500 comes into my PayPal or into my Facebook payments. And I was like, there we go. The money just comes. So my friends, your money, just like everything in your life, 
It's just, it's a set of belief systems. And if you've been in a space where your entire family has struggled financially, like mine, you got a lot of work to do. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to tell you that it's easy and graceful. It's not. It's it's not. It's going to be some, you're, you're going to have to keep working at it. But I want to promise you this, that the deeper you're willing to go into the work, the more that you're willing to dive in and surrender. Some people aren't willing to look at their shadows. Look, there's people, I have clients that I've had over the years that are not willing to look at the shadow. Karen says, yes, that has happened to me. Karen and Karen and I did work together and she manifested some powerful, beautiful things like really quickly because she was doing the work. People, some people will not do the work. They want the result, but they will not do the work. And I'll tell you what, that it will take, there will be tears shed. There will be pain that you allow yourself to feel. The day that I recognized my divinity, I cried. I cried so badly when it, when it, like the moment came through, I had to actually leave <laughs> the place I was at. I had to leave, but I was asking for it. I've been asking to see it. I've been asking to see this stuff differently. So I want to invite you for any of the ladies that are on here. The Miracle Academy is closed. It's over until 2021, right? And there'll be, that will have, who knows what it will be when it comes out next year. But I want to invite you for anyone that wants to do private work in 2020. And the private work that I do these days is just a, is a really deep listening and dismantling. If you have a business and you want to grow your business from a space of spiritual expansion, from a space of recognizing your divinity, from a space of really deep worthiness and understanding your power and your potential and why you've been called to do the things you've been called to do, I'm a great woman to have in your corner. That's all I'll say. And if that speaks to you and you want to really explore that purpose and explore that prosperity, then please reach out to me and we can talk about that. I'll be taking on clients that will be starting the week of February 9th, right? So explore that. Chelsea, hello. You'll want to see this from the beginning. So let's explore that. If that's something that speaks to you, please reach out to me. DM me. Get um, a kind of get a look at what my current programs are like. And we can dive into this more deeply because all the money stuff is truly worthiness stuff. And not only worthiness in the sense of, I am worthy of it all. It's not all that. There's a lot of it is, is really being in the space of knowing that you are one with the one. You are infinitely resourced. And once you understand that, you start tapping into that power. So Rosa is asking about the meditation. The meditation that I'm talking about is my $10,000 a month meditation. You can use it, do it for 30 days. It's free, you can get it for free. Um, it's on my Instagram link tree. I'll have to go get it and drop it into this. But um, if you follow me on Instagram, just go and drop into my link tree and grab that. It's $10,000 a month, so it's for someone that's making under $10,000 a month. Or if you've been making, every once in a while, if you have a $10,000 a month and then you drop back down to like four or five, please do me a favor and listen to this for 30 days. If you listen to this for 30 days, it's going to change the way you feel about money and the way that you see money out in the world. And it will take you out of the micro and into the macro. I'm going to make one of these for just overall um, abundance and money because I know that some people are making 20, 30, $40,000 a month. And for me personally, I'm like, how do I make a hundred thousand dollars a month? Uh, like consistently, right? So I can't wait to share. Stay tuned. I'm going to share. We're going to be doing a money challenge, something to help you just open your mind, open your heart around money. And then I'm going to be dropping a course. I'm going to be dropping a course. I'm going to drop that here just so that I keep accountable for that. Friends, I'm sending you so much love. If you know someone that could benefit from this conversation and somebody that may say these kinds of things, think these kind of things, behave this kind of way in their life and in business, please send this to them. Please tag them in it because just this video can open you up to aha moments and help you see differently. All right, my friends, have a beautiful day. Bye.